Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another reading for you guys. Um, I was actually working with a couple of clients today and they did bring up uh, wanting to see more readings in regards to business, in regards to money, in regards to profession. Um, so I just, you know, I really, after, you know, doing uh, consultations, after working throughout the day and pretty much uh, had this, you know, idea of wanting to communicate with spirit in regards to messages that may be directly connected to you at this present time in regards to success. Uh, when thinking or planning this, I actually felt very pulled towards it. I usually, you know, keep an idea pad and get to it when I have time, um, <laughs> which is rare. Um, because we have so much, so many things going on. Um, but anyways, uh, I felt very pulled toward this. And I think that right now, because of what we're experiencing on a global scale, I see a lot of people really having difficulty when it comes to finances. Um, and this is in every single aspect. Keep in mind uh, that I deal with clients on an everyday basis from all walks of life. Um, so again, even people that are very structured, people that, you know, have multiple businesses, etc. They're like really, you know, experiencing uh, a bit of resistance. And I think that it's because everyone on a global scale is kind of feeling like we're at a standstill. So anyways, I thought it would be very interesting to look into the situation and to be able to really connect with the energy of abundance, the energy of um you know, success, the energy of the energy itself of prosperity. And I feel that it is also necessary in order for us to be more motivated or to see what we need to work on in order to be able to overcome those obstacles and be set on our path that we're walking towards uh, to be able to find abundance or success. So, Without further ado, as you guys can see here, from my left to right, we have set number one, which is the brazalete, the bracelet. We have set number two, the jade money, connecting with ancestral energy. We have set number three, which is the, the $100 bill. But this is more connected to that of what we consider bountiful energy. And we have set number four, the color green for abundance, but also the all-seeing eye and being able to connect with energies that are outside of ourselves or outside of our own. I am going to give you guys a couple of minutes Keep in mind, whenever you watch this video, it has no time frame. So what I mean by that is at this point in time, when you're watching this video, regardless if it's been uploaded for over a year um, and you're just now watching this video, this message is directly connected to you. OK, so I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to be able to connect, to be able to tune into your intuition. But more than anything, see what you're being pulled towards on a visual aspect. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes and um Okay, so I'm going to be pulling out or pulling back set number two, set number three. And set number four, so we can get into the reading. Okay, so we're going to begin with set number one. Okay, which is the bracelet or the brazalete. 
All right, so let's get right into it. Okay, so what I can see, um, those of you guys that chose set number one, I do see you guys extremely creative. Now, for some of you guys, um, you are very connected to that of the family dynamic. To you, family could be majorly important. Um, usually, this indicates to me, and the fact that flowers is coming out also indicates to me a person that is very delicate. So you could be very pulled towards uh, being very compassionate, wanting to help or assist children, uh, families. Uh, this could be something that you're uh, perhaps even a life, um, a life path for you. Uh, your purpose is to help heal. Um, now this could be done, like I said, I do see a creative outlook for you guys. So some of you guys could be very connected. Um, when I see flowers, it indicates to me delicacy. It, it speaks to me about the, the way you take your time to nurture and grow uh, gardening, stuff like that. It, it could also be a representation on a metaphysical way um, in regards to healing those that are wounded. So it could be like working as a therapist. It could be working in the creative field as well as you are very in tune to emotions. Um, so again, you could be very creative. Uh, perhaps you are at a point in your life right now where perhaps uh, you feel like your profession could be very, very separate from your calling or from what you're really passionate about. So it could be very contrast. It could be like there is um, either you're fully embracing what you were gifted with, which is that of compassion, that of wanting to assist and help others um, and doing it like 100% committed to the cause, while others of you could be very, very far from that. Um, and there is a feeling of imbalance in your life. There is a feeling of something missing. Uh, now with flowers, working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life's purpose. So again, we're talking about that of healing. Um, this could be, you know, counsel people. This could be therapists. These, the, this could be uh, people that work very closely like uh, with substance abuse, anything like that. Um, or you yourself could have gone through something similar to that. Uh, perhaps as a child, perhaps you were um, not necessarily in a structured home. Uh, you know, it could have been that you were exposed to um, some type of instability where it made you f become much more sensitive uh, to people's behaviors and their actions and understanding their nature. So again, um, if you are in the complete other spectrum, as an example, if you're a lawyer or if you work for banks and corporations, something like that, you could be feeling like there is something missing in your life and you cannot necessarily uh, specify or understand exactly what it is. Um, but there is something in you that feels there's lack of purpose. And the reason for that is because you could have been called to help and heal and nurture. Uh, family is uh, the card that is coming up here. So again, loving your friends and family is essential to your life's purpose as well. So again, family could be something very important for some of you guys. Uh, you had a very strong connection with your family members, with the family dynamic, while others of you, you could have been on, like I said, the whole different spectrum of that, of not having a family or feeling like you weren't understood in your very own family. Um, so there was a need, a desire, 
uh, within you to want to find that type of balance or that type of peace or that type of healing. Um, now you also do have here beneficial beliefs uh, feel better when I um, when I think them. So it could have a lot to do with picking up on people's energies, uh, not having the need for them to fully communicate what they're going through. It's very easy for you to either read them to be in tune with how they're feeling or to just be able to pick up again because of your sensitivity. Now with this card, uh, this speaks about there are things in your environment that you believe that much what you want. And there are all kinds of things in your environment that you believe that defy what you want, how you would ever sort them out. How do you know the active beliefs within you that serve you well and the active beliefs that do not serve you? How do you know the beneficial beliefs from the detrimental ones, detrimental ones, sorry. Uh, the beneficial beliefs feels better when you think of them. The determined one, the detrimental ones are the ones where you feel worse when you think about them. So again, we could be talking about some of you guys feeling like perhaps life was very difficult for you. Perhaps right now at this point in time where you are in your life or what you're doing in regards to your profession and in regards to how you make money uh, sometimes could be very overwhelming for some of you guys. Uh, it could be like you feel or you felt that you were just dealt with these cards and you just had to do the best uh, to get through or to get by. So for some of you guys, it could be, again, that you are perhaps on a profession or working or doing something um, that is very, very far from your life's path. Um, but the underlying message here is that you can turn the situation around regardless of what circumstance you're in at this present time you can change it around and it starts with your belief system so if some of you guys out there are watching this and you chose set number one and at some point you feel like you're not deserving of success like you're not deserving of abundance you have to release yourself from these negative thoughts or negative patterns. Perhaps as children you were taught um, that life was very difficult and that's just how it is. And it, 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 in general, life will not be easy because there's lessons for us to learn. But it doesn't mean that it should, uh, you know, deter us from or detour us from the path that we're supposed to be walking on. So again, if you feel that at this point in time, you're unsure of where you're at or where you're going in life. It's about focus. It's about analyzing exactly what it is that you want to do and taking little steps. Uh, even if it's, you know, step taking a step by step, it's still moving forward. And it doesn't have to be, don't let it be, don't let your success be circumstantial. Uh, circumstances are outside energy and it has a lot to do again with how we feel inside and if you feel that you don't deserve it or if you feel like you're unworthy of success or of abundance or of financial freedom you have to change that mentality in order to be able to align yourself to your full potential and again I would highly encourage you guys to really look into anything that has to do uh, with counseling is what's coming up. Counseling, therapy, um, even for those of you that are extremely creative because we do have the creative card here, um, whether it be through writing, whether it be through uh, making music or painting, um, use your life's experience, the good, the bad, and the horrible to inspire you because no one will be able to express outwardly what you've experienced from your perspective. And for some of you guys, you could become very encouraging to others. You can guide those that perhaps have gone through the same circumstances or situations that you have 
and ultimately connect on an emotional level with thousands of people out there that may support your cause or that may support uh, your gifts, uh, that may support, uh, you know, what comes very easy to you, which is that of healing, which is that of guiding and giving wisdom because of everything you've been through. Now, your next card here is our diversity supports our individual freedoms. While your societies continue to try to dictate and enforce human behavior to please the majority because of your diversity, it continues to be an uncomfortable struggle that again and again falls of its economic weight. There simply is not enough money in the world to buck the natural currents of individual freedom and independence of thought. So again, it's exactly what I just spoke about with this card. It is speaking very closely to that of, you know, trying to trying to fit yourself in a box and you have so much potential. Don't allow your experiences or other people uh, create or even set boundaries for you um, when you really embrace what you were born with, the natural gifts that you were born with, and you're very passionate about it, that's when you're going to be able to fully fulfill one of your life's missions, which, which is that of healing or helping others um, all the while fulfilling your purpose. And that is what what they're guiding you to that will ultimately give you the success that you're looking for. Now with the creativity, we your angels messengers are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence as all is valid. Sorry. This is the fertility card. This speaks about spiritual rebirth, giving birth, nurturing, growth, building, and creativity, which is exactly what we were speaking about right now. I see you guys as not only healers, but also, you know, kind of like the father or mother figure of those that come into your life. Uh, there is a lot of teaching um, and growth that comes from every single person you've ever encountered. This is the energy that you've brought into their lives. And what they're speaking about here is shedding old skin, rebirth, a nurturing environment, planting seeds in fertile soil, which is very connected to flowers, you guys. Um, and again, uh, feminine creativity and energy. Now, you also have Iwas here, uh, which speaks about trust, progress, transportation. Uh, the key phrases here is intentional forward movement, balance between rider and mount, travel between physical and spiritual realms. So these two cards, in retrospect, are extremely spiritual, and they speak highly about being able to move forward and being able to embrace your full potential that will then lead you to success. Um, now your next card here is voice. So again, you guys, I, I really feel like counselors, therapists, psychologists, um, people that work with other people helping them understand their behavior or understand uh, situations and circumstances that are difficult in their life that others may not be so easy to understand and it becomes very very like naturally organic for you guys to really understand and guide people and you have the voice card the voice is all about the throat chakra it speaks highly about using your voice as a power as a embracing the power that your voice has to express and to communicate uh, that which comes with very strong messages wisdom and guidance you guys don't 
don't ignore your potential because I see a lot of teachers in this set, a lot of teachers. Um, now, teachers doesn't necessarily have to be like teaching, but it can also represent like if you're a mother or if you're a father, uh, you can connect with your children on such an emotional level that you you like it, it reminds me of like, you know, the friend slash dad or the friend slash mom that child that could go to them for anything like if they get on the worst situations ever they know that they could feel comfortable calling you because they know that you would not judge them and you would rush to their to their assistance rush to help them and, and that's the unconditional love and that's the unconditional support that you give to those that are around you as well so in order for you guys to be able to find your full potential and success in life is really knowing the power that you have in speaking, communicating, um, advising and guiding and that of pushing forward, pushing, you know, forward and unleashing the chains that drag you from the past and freeing yourself from that and embracing your creativity. Um, very, very heavy energy in this reading, but I just love it because it reminds me of the teachers that I've had throughout my life, um, my mentors, um, a lot of whom have already passed on, but I still feel their energy. And it's like such powerful energy that that's the type of energy that I'm sensing with those of you guys that chose set number one. So again, really embrace that. Now we have here Wow. We have the numinous um mystery card here. This is talking about the unknown. This is a noble ESPN psychic abilities. For some of you guys, you guys could be spiritual advisors or perhaps that's your calling or perhaps you're interested in that and it's something that you've doubted yourself because you feel like perhaps you don't have it in you. Um, but if you didn't have it in you, you wouldn't be so called towards it. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, this speaks about source. This is about the untainable. This is about shadow work. This is inner knowing. This is all to do with, uh, basically, this is the card that speaks highly with the supernatural, uh, with that of the spirit realm, with that of uh, the energies that we, you know, deal with on an everyday basis, uh, that perhaps to others may be like, that's kind of weird, but it comes very natural to you. I would highly embrace and really encourage you guys that if you're being pulled towards that, definitely. Sorry, you guys <clears throat> totally sneezed. Um, that you guys embrace this fully, really try to get your knowledge up, try to, uh, you know, be exposed, try to find a mentor, someone that can guide you. Uh, you also have the fifth house, which is passion. And it's funny because you have the Leo card here as well. And the fifth house, you know, happens to rule, um, happens to rule Leo. So again, it, it's all about, you know, the fifth house represents everything to do with the mind thinking it's about um it has a lot to do with communication with actively uh embracing you know uh embracing your inner child connecting um even like making decisions not from rationality not from your mind but from your intuition um and, and this is the energy that is currently influencing you so this is something that you need to embrace um you know, childlike energy also represents like the naive side, uh, the naive side to that of um, to that of childhood when you're trusting, when your guard is not up, when you're not tainted, um, and you're able to connect on the spiritual realm easier because there's no blockages there, there's no fear. It is complete and utter um, trust not in anyone or anything, but trust in yourself and believe in yourself. With the Leo, energy is that of pride. 
putting your pride aside. Perhaps you worry too much about what people think. Perhaps you worry too much about what others, how others may perceive you. And that is your detriment. That's what's holding you back. So again, in order for you to be able to find your success, you have to detach from ego. You have to embrace the childlike energy, believing and trusting in yourself and having faith and giving yourself into that of what you were gifted with or embracing your gifts. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Now let's go to set number two. We have prayer. We have travel. Talk to your angels. Oh, wow. You guys have duality here. All right. All right. So what they're speaking to me, a lot of you guys that chose set number two, um, perhaps you're interested in travel. Perhaps you have a tendency of wanting to experience the world and what the world has to offer. Uh, your life's purpose involves traveling. Um, so this could be like backpacking, this could be uh, just going on road trips, trying to be around uh, people of different cultural backgrounds, uh, very, I see you guys very like very hungry for knowledge, but firsthand knowledge, experience knowledge, experiences that you can take with you. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, um, it has more to do with the people that you connect uh, more than anything because it's more of an experience that you're after. For some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are like working office jobs or anything like that, you may feel very restless. You may feel like you just don't fit in or there's something very, you know, different about you with those around you. It's like it's very difficult for you to connect and I think that the reason for that is because you weren't meant to sit at a desk for, you know, freaking eight hours. Uh, so a lot of you guys, what they're saying here is a lot of you guys, um, you have to find, you have to find something that you're really passionate about. I see you guys as like the entrepreneurs. I see you guys like those that run your own business or perhaps travel uh, and that's how you make money or you can make your passion turn into a job. And for the majority of you guys, there is a lot to do with like, uh, I don't see you guys like really wanting the picket fence. I see you guys more like uh, not wanting to have so much material growth. Uh, although, you know, obviously this is a success reading. Um, but I feel that it has more to do with experiences for you guys. Now, you do have here talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. So some of you guys, you may have the need to travel or to be around different, you know, people, different cultures, different circumstances, because you are perhaps trying to connect with something divine. Perhaps you're trying uh, your your soul is feeling restless because you're wanting to connect with something that is of higher meaning, of, of higher frequency. And I do have the Aquarius energy here. So again, uh, Aquarians do tend to be, you know, either extremely spiritual or non-spiritual at all. Um, and you may fall into the non-spiritual, but for some of you guys, it's like you are on a mission to go out and experience life but really what you're trying to experience is a divine type of experience where you're able to uh, really see with your very own eyes or feel with your very own heart um, that of divine or that of spiritual calling so again a lot of you guys uh, success is in that of your entrepreneurship skills uh, 
creating something that you're very passionate about and turning that into a business, um, something that is going to create and bring uh, abundance to your life. Uh, my imagination att attracts all cooperative relationships. The universe and all physical and non-physical players in it, it is responding to vibrations that you are offering. And no distinction is made between vibration that you offer as, as you observe and vibrations that you offer as you imagine. If you will simply imagine your life as you want it to be, all cooperative cons uh, components will be summoned. And even more important, all components that are summoned will cooperate. It is a law. The experience you have with others is that of what you evoke from them. So again, it, it, it basically is symbolizing exactly or is explaining exactly what I just did. Uh, what I just read, sorry, and what I had just previously said, that I feel like you guys are really like on a mission to experience life. Uh, you guys have this zest for life, and, and, and I think that it would be good for you guys to find uh, something where you're able to travel or where you're not, you know, in an office space, but you're out exploring or you're out and about. That's really going to help with the restless soul as well as give you focus and give you that type of refresh type of energy where you're more inspired being around other people. I think you feed off of other people's energies as well as other people feed off of your energy on a positive aspect. Um, now it speaks about should I leave or should I stay? Uh, it is very empowering to discover that your patterns of thought do not have to follow your current situation and therefore your current situation and all subjects can change. We do not recommend taking the physical action of leaving a relationship without deliberately coming into thought alignment with the new desires that have been born out of your current relationship. And then whether you stay in this relationship or move on to another, you can have exactly what you desire. So it's about, for some of you guys, I think that what is currently detrimenting your progress or your success uh, could have to do a lot, not necessarily with relationships, although for some it may be, um, but for others of you, I think that it could really connect with, uh, you know, wanting or having the desire to travel or to experience, but you also feel responsible or have responsibilities or feel like family or people around you are dependent on you, and that's what's currently hindering uh, that uh, progress or that movement that can happen uh, should you really put your mind and make the decision of moving forward. Now, you also do have here recognition card, and this is the energy uh, that is currently that is currently representing your energy. So for those of you guys that chose set number two with the recognition, it's that of acknowledging, um, again, if you guys are currently dealing with a relationship and perhaps you feel like they're keeping you from progress or they're keeping you from moving forward, you have to acknowledge the desire. Um, sometimes, and this is something that I deal with on an everyday basis, where clients often feel like they're responsible for carrying on a relationship even though the partner kind of has given up a long time ago. And is that of, you know, morality, um, loyalty. A lot of the times people become enslaved to loyalty. Not that the person that they're being loyal to deserves it, but, you know, it, it could be that feeling of not wanting to let them go or not wanting to let them down. All the while, you're kind of suppressing your true desires. And what they're telling you here is to acknowledge that it's okay to want freedom, when you're not ready for commitment. It's okay to want to grow when the person you're with is complacent. It just means that you guys are on two different vibrations. And sometimes it takes a bigger person to acknowledge that and to see or understand, is this a person that I'm worth, uh, sorry, is this a person that I'm willing to sacrifice for? And if it's someone that, again, is complacent, doesn't want to grow, doesn't want to travel, doesn't want to experience life, Perhaps you need a different type of partner. Now, you also do have here the moon and the sun, which is duality. Um, those of you guys that chose this set, I feel that you may feel like you're, 
your inner struggles are taking the best of you. For some of you guys, you self-doubt a lot. Um, and instead of taking opportunities, I think that you often think about them too much until they pass you by. Uh, so it's kind of like having the desire to experience life to its full potential, but at the same time, you're kind of in your own way. Uh, it could be out of fear. It could be out of feeling like people have expectancies or responsibilities uh, or they're dependent on you. Uh, it could be that you're very connected to family and there's a feeling of not wanting to leave or not wanting to uh, make them feel like you are wanting to step out and do your own thing, although it is necessary and you have to understand that. So with the moon and the sun, it's duality. It's two sides of you like fighting, uh, one wanting to go the right way and the other one wanting to go the left side. Uh, one wanting to make a right and the other wanting to make a left. So there's a constant uh, imbalance in you uh, with the feelings and the being. This is emotion and this is physical aspect. So again, it speaks about really being able to balance that. It's not about ignoring. It's about acknowledging, hey, I'm human and I become overly emotional about wanting to leave a situation or about wanting to grow and expand, but I don't want to hurt the people that are around me that perhaps are not ready to grow with me um, but the physical aspect I refuse to move out of fear so again what they're telling you here is about in order for you to be able to find the success you have to be okay with going on your own lane even if it means being alone for a bit um, only be so I see for some of you guys it could be attachments uh, it could be the fear of attachment or for others, it could be the fear of not wanting to be like, not wanting to be alone or feeling like you're a lone wolf type of energy. Um, so again, it's duality here. And the, the best way to be able to find or experience the abundance and success in your life is to start to embrace both sides instead of suppressing them. Um, so it's kind of like, uh, the best it, the best example I can give you is like the party animal and the one that is extremely uh, rigid and extremely strict. Uh, if you have both of those sides trying to fight one another, uh, you're going to come undone. So instead of ignoring them, embrace the fact that you have this responsible side. And at the same time, as an example, it could be like, it's okay to work Monday through Friday and Saturday and, you know, use it as like a wall in out day and then using uh, Sunday to connect on a spiritual realm. So it's about balance. It's about priorities. It's about time management. For a lot of you guys, it has a lot to do with priorities. Now you have the prayer card, dear guardian angel. <clears throat> to you, I pray when I am fearful, help me remember the only love that only love is real. When I am lost, help me find my way. When I'm confused, help me regain clarity. When I feel lonely, help me feel your loving presence. Where I perceive chaos, help me to see order. Thank you. So it's about connecting with spirituality as well, you guys. Um, I think that for the majority of you guys that chose this set, set number two, I think that there is a desire for growth and success and there is another side to you where there is fear involved with success um, it could be the fact that you fear having to grow and potentially expand where you feel like you're no longer as close as you once were to your family for others of you it could be the feeling of uh, you know disconnecting or not being around friends or people loved ones family members because you're on this pursuit of experiencing life firsthand and you wish you can bring everyone with you. Well, unfortunately, that's not the case. And a lot of the times we're not able to do that all the time. So it's about, again, prioritizing. Now, in regards to your rune cards here, um, and what they're speaking about here is achieving personal growth. Exactly what I just said. I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's like you want success and you want growth, but your something in you is not okay with personal growth. It's like you want people to be with you in that bus of success. But unfortunately, 
in order for us to be able to succeed, um, a lot of people are not up for the ride, while others may be there supporting you, but sometimes you have to do it on your own, and you have to be okay with that. So they're speaking about individual members of the whole. So, uh, social family responsibilities, awareness or oneself, human thought and rationality. So again, that's exactly what we were just talking about right now. And talking about is safe and protected space, taking advantage of natural defenses, allies with your best interest at heart, be alert and keep your wits. So again, you can bring everyone along the right. Why? Because sometimes they hinder, sometimes they, instead of help us, they make it more difficult. And you have to be okay with that. If you're not able to detach from that, then it's going to be very difficult for you to be able to find your calling or to be able to find your success and abundance. Um, so at the end of the day, do you want success? And if the answer is yes, are you okay achieving it on your own? Because some, like I said, sometimes you can bring them along, but it doesn't mean that they're going to be along for the whole ride. And sometimes we have to put in our work to do it on our own. All right. So I hope that gives you some clarity and some type of understanding. Sorry. Okay, give me one second. Let me pull these cards. You guys that chose set number three. We have the Oracle cards, the music card. Um, from what I can see, for those of you guys that chose set number three, perhaps you're very pulled towards creative uh, outlook. For some of you guys, it could be that you are naturally gifted in music, uh, in writing, creating, um, or singing. While others of you, you could be very connected to that of uh, interest into the esoteric, because I do see faith card here, as well as oracle cards. Um, so what they're saying here is, uh, with the oracle cards, uh, you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. So for some of you guys, you could be very intuitive. Perhaps that's the reason why you could be gifted in every single aspect in regards to music, creativity, painting, anything to do with the arts. Um, and what they're saying here is, again, I do want to note, I feel that a lot of you guys are very harsh on yourself. It's like you're expectancy of how you perform or what you create or even at this point in time where you are in life if you're not happy with what you're doing it's almost like you're constantly being self-negative like self-negative talk uh, for some of you guys it could be that uh, on a subconscious level you tend to be very negative in regards to uh, you know how you uh, how you're able to um, pretty much talk to yourself and I think that you speak in a very harsh way um, you could grow impatient very quickly and what they're saying here is again you have the self-criticism card but before we get into that um, you have here I have control of the vibration I offer and this is something that you need to embrace uh, once you begin to believe or expect good feeling things to uh, things to come you're in the vortex, and once you get into there, once you get in there, now you are a cooperative uh, component. Now you get to uh, basically rendezvous with all of the good stuff that you have put there, and you can train yourself there. You can do it on each single day. Uh, you have control of everything that rendezvous with you when you go sorry, when you get in control of the vibration that you offer and you get control of the vibration that you uh, offer when you care about how you feel. So it's that of acknowledging when you're being negative with yourself or when you are complaining or when life gets too difficult and you're constantly telling yourself like when are things going to get better or things you know just keep getting worse and worse the more you put energy to that the more difficult it becomes and i think that this comes to you on a very subconscious level so it could be something that perhaps um you know from early childhood it was like engraved in you that life is difficult or that things don't come easy and 
a lot of self-doubt, a lot of not believing in yourself. So what they're telling you here is in order for you to be able to achieve success, you have to wholeheartedly have faith and trust in yourself. And the best way I can guide you to do that is to understand when you love someone, that you genuinely love them, and it's healthy love, there is like unbelievable trust there. Of course, they've gained it throughout the years or throughout the time you've been getting to know them. But if you see it on a grander scale, who better to know you than yourself? Who better to put trust and confide in than yourself? It's about self-love. It's about loving yourself. It's about giving, not giving to others what you should start to give to yourself first in order to be able to flourish. And I do see you guys growing and I do see stability. You have the fourth house here. So again, success is at your fingertips. Like you are or will achieve success. But the only one that's getting in your way at the present time is yourself. You have to stop self-doubting yourself so much. Now you also have my life is about my relationships. And with this card, what they're speaking about is you will never find yourself in a point in time when the subject of relationships is not an active part of your new experience. For everything you perceive or notice, or no is because of relationships with something else without a comp um, without a comparative uh, experience you would be unable to perceive or focus any kind of understanding within yourself therefore if it is accurate to say that without relationships you cannot exist at all so what they're speaking about here is consciousness um, consciousness whether people like to accept or understand we are all connected on a spiritual level and with that we attract or bring circumstances situations and people into our lives based on the vibration that we're sending out so if you're constantly in this fear of self-criticism as an example not trusting yourself or not believing in your potential then what you're doing is you are attracting circumstances that are undesirable or you're attracting people or even partners that are matching that insecurity. So that's when we attract toxic type of relationships because we ourselves cannot fully love ourselves completely. So you're going to be not being able to attract that. And what you're attracting is people that are broken, people that are possessive, people that are jealous because they're insecure of themselves. So again, what they're telling you here is embrace your full potential. If you're weird, embrace that. If you're different, embrace that. Use that as power. Use that as something that can trigger and differentiate you from everyone else. When you're able to do that, then that's when you're fully able to embrace and bring in all that has to do with abundance and success. Now, you also do have the faith card here. So again, connecting or believing in yourself and collect, uh, collectively connecting with spirit. You also have the fourth house here, which speaks about roots. The fourth house is all to do with the home, with parents, with roots, with inner security. So for some of you guys, you could be very like homey-like. You could be uh, very like the energy of, you know, be, being very connected to the family dynamic or, you know, for some of you guys, it could even be that you tend to be an introvert. So that's the reason why it could become very difficult for you to connect with other people and you're constantly feeling or thinking that people are judging you. But you got to let go of that. Only then will you be able to embrace your full potential and bring to you abundance because you're doing it out of love, because there's no doubt there. The fourth house also speaks about stability. And you also have the Libra here, which is the idealist. This is about cooperative balance, socially aware, artistic, people pleasing, fair, idealistic, aesthetic. Um, this is all to do with the Libra energy, which, that, which is that of Venus. Believing in yourself and knowing 
that beauty is not only something in the physical aspect, it's something that is necessary internally as well. Um, so perhaps some of you guys have a fascination uh, with fashion, with anything that is, like I said, I don't know why it, uh, what they mentioned was weird, but weird in a very positive way. The best example I can give you is, you know, uh, myself at the age of, I want to say six or seven, um, I was very considered weird. <laughs> Talking to spirits is not something normal. And still to this day, I don't think it's something that is uh, necessarily accepting. Um, but the moment you release yourself from what other people's expectations of you are, and the, the, the moment you're, you're able to say, you know what, screw what everyone else thinks, I'm going to do my own thing and I'm going to focus and stay on my own lane, that's when you flourish because you're taking your power back. You're believing in yourself. There is like, there is... There's this the there's this thing where you have a realization at some point in your life where it's like an aha moment or where there is this epiphany that comes to you where you're like, you know what? I'm going to succeed regardless of what people think, regardless of what people doubt, regardless of any outside criticism or outside obstacles like in your head it just clicks and you're like I'm gonna succeed no matter what when you're able to embrace that then you're taking your power back you're owning your power back and you're really tuning in to your life's mission and purpose when you're able to do that you connect on a spiritual level then there is nothing you cannot manifest I assure you guys that now, your next card here is sextile, opportunity. This speaks about collaborative uh, assistance, uh, provides opportunity, creates possibilities for you, opens door, promises, brings insight uh, to you, communicates and welcoming type of energy. So this is very positive. Like I said, I think that for those of you guys that chose this set, success is inevitable for you. But you got to let go of the fear. And you got to stop being so self-criticizing to yourself or so harsh on yourself. You have the self-criticism card here. We, your angels, ask you to please be more compassionate towards yourself. Observe the times when you have critical thoughts about you. And make an effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive, loving ones. You are a wondrous being of light, even if at times you think you are less than perfect. Remember that God and divine perfection exist in all things. Beautiful message. This is speaking directly about things that may not be going so ideal for you right now. But what they're saying is things will get better. Joy and happiness are present or will be present. Harmonious relationships and positive flowing energy. And unexpected destructive forces forces beyond your control crisis and hidden benefit hidden benefits a blessing in disguise unexpected change ruined plan sudden crisis seek the uh the cloud silver lining don't count your chickens before they hatch so these are two these are very two different type of energies i feel like this is like the duality should you decide to be more positive, to be more loving, to be more embraceful of yourself and who you are, feeling comfortable in your own skin, the blessings are, they are basically like on the horizon. You will start to experience synchronicities on a grander scale that you start to see uh, the positive experiences in your life. Should you continue doubting yourself and self-criticizing or being too harsh on yourself and continuously being on this pattern of being negative or thinking negatively, you will continuously uh, keep sending out that vibration and the universe will continuously keep giving you situations and circumstances that make you feel like life is difficult. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Now let's go on to the next reading.
Okay, my lovelies, we finally came to set number four, which is with the all-seeing eye. And from what I can see here, a lot of you guys that chose this set, set number four, you guys are on a path of manifestation of abundance. For some of you guys, it's practicing the law of attraction. For others of you, is learning to align yourself to that of what you desire, what you're trying to bring into your life. I see you guys very connected to spirit. Um, and I think that it definitely hasn't been easy for you guys, but uh, the manifestation and the success is inevitable for you. Um, so what they're showing me here is light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world. You have infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life's purpose. These are two very, very much in tune type of energy cards. This is speaking about the spiritual and that of the mundane. It is speaking about that of connecting to the law of attraction. It is that of practicing the esoteric or practicing um, anything that has to do with synchronization and bringing towards your life those experiences, people, and circumstances that you are fully aware you want to experience in this lifetime. So again, it's that of aligning yourself. What they're showing me here is that, like I said, life hasn't been easy. We have the Saturn card here. This speaks about wisdom. This speaks about hardship. This speaks about situations and circumstances that have majorly impacted your life. But it has brought you to where you're at at this point in your life. You also have my manifestations are the indicators of my beliefs. So again, it's that of connecting and tuning in. It is always true that whatever whatever you are living always matches your, your chronic vibrational patterns or beliefs. And it does not matter if you have an excellent excuse for your negative thoughts and negative emotions. They still equal your point of attraction. What is manifesting on every subject in your life is an indicator of the beliefs you hold and your chronic patterns of thought. So again, it's being in control or understanding that you have the control, that it is up to you what it is that you want to focus your energy on to be able to bring to you that manifestation. I see a lot of you guys um, potentially could be on this, uh, at this present time, I see you guys uh, really, really finding, um, or perhaps you're already in a profession that you're very passionate about and that you love. Uh, you see it as a purpose. You see it as motivation to get out of bed on an everyday basis. If you still are currently going through these struggles, meaning if you still haven't found the profession or job that you've been looking for, it will come to you. And this is something that, like I said, success for you guys is inevitable. Um, I do see success. I do see abundance. I do see prosperity. Um, so again, if at this point you're still not there, do not despair. Understand and know that you are worthy. You have the worthy card. For some of you guys out there that are watching, and if this is the set that you chose, for some of you guys, the only obstacle or the reason why you haven't seen full manifestation is because you have to work on self-love. You have to work on believing that you are worthy, accepting. It's that of praying and stepping out of the way so you don't get in your very own way and embracing, uh, surrendering to the process, opening your arms up and saying, I embrace all the blessings. I embrace all the potential. I embrace all the abundance that's coming towards me. When you declare such statements, you are embracing and at the same time, you are empowering yourself because you're preparing yourself to receive those blessings. Now, you also have here, I am a, vibra a vibrational being, vibrationally emanating desires. You live in a vibrational universe that is managed by the law of attraction. The law of attraction is bringing vibrations that are alike together. 
And so it is important for you to acknowledge that you are vibrational beings, constantly emanating vibrational signals of desire. And when from your human form, you offer a vibration of what you want because you know what you don't want, so you know what you do want, you cannot contemplate any subject without equal components of wanted and unwanted appearing vibrationally in your experience. So what they're telling you is regardless if you know what it is that you want or what you don't want, what you focus on the most, that's exactly what's echoing back to you. So again, for those of you guys that are still seeking that manifestation and have yet to see it, get out of your own way. Have faith, declare and state exactly what it is that you want and be on the receptive mode. Be on the expectancy mode because it's coming towards you. You have the sixth house, which speaks about craft, work, details, health, well-being, diet, service, daily rituals, contributions, organization, purification skills. Um, this is all to do with uh, the sixth house. Is uh, the sixth house is all to do with work, health, service, and self empowerment or improvement. So again. Whatever it is that the profession you're in at this present time, in order for you to be able to see the full manifestation of it, is to go into it wholeheartedly with the desire and want to service others. So it's about how can I service them better? How can I provide a service that is that will blow them out the water? How can I do or train myself to be better at what I'm doing? to be able to render a better service. When you're able to really submerge yourself into that, you're going to start to see the benefits of Saturn, which Saturn is the ruling planet of Capricorn, which speaks about success, about abundance, about all to do with career. So again, I, I feel that for a lot of you, the majority of you anyways, have already found your passion, but it's about knowing without a doubt in your heart that you are worthy and that you deserve that success. Only then will you be able to experience the infinite abundance and the light and love. For some of you guys, success, finances is very connected to love. And it's like when things are going very difficult in relationships, you start to weather when it comes to your finances. So it's about finding the perfect balance, understanding that yes, relationships are important, but when that relationship ends, your profession doesn't end, or your business doesn't end, or your finances doesn't end. You have to continuously keep putting yourself in this mentality of beast mode, of trying the best to be better at what you do, better than you were yesterday. Now we have the semi sextile, which is speaking about allowing, which is exactly what I just said about surrendering. It's about it encourages, uh, sees the potential in clarifies, gives hope to uh, compensates. Uh, this is to do with response to temper cycles grow, realizes and rewards. So again, Success is inevitable for you guys, but it comes through hard work and determination with the Saturn energy. We also have the oneness card. Someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart. Remember, dearest one, that even though there has been a physical parting spiritually, those we love never leave us. Creation is eternal. Nothing is ever truly missing for all is interconnected and ultimately one which is speaking about oneness. So for some of you guys, it could have been that perhaps there was um, a feeling of unworthiness. For some of you guys, it could have been because there was a relationship that ended. For others of you, you're carrying a lot of hurt and pain from past experiences. Some of you guys could have lost a loved one, a family member, someone that was very dear to you. And it's about understanding, like I said, in the very beginning of this reading that we are all connected whether we like to accept it or not we are all one and what they're trying to tell you here is if you did experience a loss it's not about giving up sometimes we try to sometimes we try to punish ourselves because we feel like I shouldn't succeed or I shouldn't move on because this person is not able to live 
or to experience or to be here with me. And we punish ourselves in doing that. But what Spirit is trying to tell you here is that they embrace you. They, you know, clap for you. They applaud. They're happy when when they see you growing and succeeding. Though they may not be here physically, it doesn't mean that they're not here spiritually. And it's something you need to understand. Now, for your rune cards here, you have, um, and this speaks about restricted progress. Um, until needs are met, a good foundation is required. Warning against building castles in the air or sky. What is needed versus desire. Evaluate requirements carefully. What must be done before proceeding? Beware of moving too quickly. Examine motives. And you also have no moment no moment until the ice melts. No movement, sorry, until the ice melts. What was before and will be after timelessly stability. Ice, nothingness versus fire, creation and life. Imperceptional movement, glacier pace, nature reclaiming human efforts slow to change, stubborn resistance, strong will. So for some of you guys, it could be that you are extremely strong will. For some of you guys, you're stuck in the mud. There are certain things you don't want to learn, you don't want to grow, or you don't want to go out of your way uh, to make things happen, but they're necessary. What they're telling you here is that it's necessary for you to uh, continue pushing and learning. You can't be stubborn about certain things. If you've been trying to go about it a certain way and you haven't succeeded up until then, what that means is that you need to take a different approach. You can't expect doing the same thing and expect results from it if you haven't gotten results in the past. So again, it's about embracing and growing and learning more than anything. Okay? All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Um definitely comment below let me know if you guys liked enjoyed um and again share uh to help us or to support our channel i hope you guys enjoyed every single reading i hope it gives you guys clarity insight understanding um i wish you guys the very best and um we'll see each other soon okay bye